Over the last two weeks, I've been doing some wiring repair on a couple of trailers here at the house. First is a horse trailer that I've been having issues with the unintended brake application of the electric brakes. And on the other was a utility trailer that was missing marker lights and brake lights. When doing this work, I wanted to get it right and have a lasting repair for both of these trailers. I've never had a good soldering iron and when Researching this, the best soldering iron, I came across videos that strongly suggest that the automotive wiring should always be crimped and not soldered. Their case was compelling enough that I did not buy the soldering iron, but bought crimping pliers and assortment of connectors instead. I'll summarize the crimping process today, but please take time to watch the link videos and credit the channels that raised awareness around this crimping process. Their case for crimping is persuasive and simple. Automotive manufacturers, even the most reliable, do not solder. They crimp. Even when manufacturers are building harnesses that have waterproof plugs built in from pin and socket connections, these plugs are built with crimped connections that will likely never fail in the life of the vehicle. My Kubota tractor also known for their reliability, has a harness containing crimped connections. But for contrast, let's look at my Dixie Chopper mower. The Kawasaki engine from the factory has crimped open barrel connections and plugs. Even when the company knows that the engine's going to be subjected to a lifetime in a harsh, hot environment with constant pounding and vibration, with no suspension, they choose the open barrel style connection. The Dixie Chopper that the motor mounted to is another story. It has low quality crimps, not unlike that first stereo in high school. And yes, I've already had to do electrical work on the mower's harness. My takeaway, the items around me that are quality and are known to perform well are using crimp terminations. Most commonly used are open barrel type crimped connections. These will be found in many of the pin and socket type plug connections in automotive applications, as well as most manufactured electrical products. You've seen them before. Now you know how they perform. Let's take a look at the process of actually doing an open barrel crimp. To do this, you'll need a set of crimpers designed for open barrel connections. The crimping pliers need to be ratcheting as this will help during the assembly process. The crimping pliers will, of course, allow for various sizes of open barrel connection. I went with Hastronica brand pliers. They've worked fine, though I'm sure that the professionals are using a step up with a machine die surface as opposed to the cast, which is on the Hastronica. I also bought an assortment of open barrel connectors that'd be applicable to most repair operations. The first step in performing an open barrel crimp is to take the open barrel non-insulated terminal and position it in the pliers. This is where the ratcheting pliers help is that once you squeeze down a couple of clicks, it'll hold the terminal while you position the wire with the other hand. With the wire, only 3 eighths of an inch of the insulation will be stripped and once complete, the wire will be positioned in the center of the connector and then the crimp will be made. Once done, the crimp can be checked. Careful attention should be given to ensure that the first stage is fully crimped and secured around the wire's insulation. The second stage, then, has to be fully engaged on the wire itself. In this type of connector, we'll do the same with the second wire, completing the very common butt-style connection. Once correctly completed, it will be a very strong and durable connection. With the addition of a waterproof heat shrink tubing, you'll have a waterproof, super strong wired connection. The type of crimp matters, and when you get the crimp right, that's the same thing that the OEMs are using when they're putting cars together. And you can go on your own vehicle and, and validate that they're not soldering, they're crimping. So here's my takeaways. Here's what it looks like to, to, to do a crimp. And uh, I think you'll like it.